I know what I'm looking forward to for lunch break today. Chinese takeout, specifically chow mein or stir fry noodle, has always had its magical property that makes people want to come back for more. It is savory, flavorful, combine that with that big, satisfying bite into that carbolicious noodle, you know you're in for a treat. Sometimes at the cost of your belly fluff and possibly high blood pressure though, for that carb and sodium content of course. But hey, trouble no more, for I got a solution for you. What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making our beloved chicken chow mein with a healthy twist. But hey, don't you worry, it is just as flavorful with a balance of savory and sweetness while being low carb, low sodium, low fat, and full of protein, veggies, and be completed with a low calorie shirataki noodle. Yes, our miracle noodle, aka pasta zero. If you're new to my channel, big welcome to you. Please click on that subscribe button or that little icon at the lower right hand corner of the screen. Yep, that one. Click on it and hit that notification bell. This will help me continue to grow my YouTube community, embracing healthy meals and desserts. I post video every week. All right, without further ado, let's get cooking. Actually, before I blurb out all the ingredients, list us for this recipe like I always do. We are going to play a little game today. So there will actually be four missing ingredients plus one optional garnish from the ingredient list. Watch this video throughout and leave it in the comment down below to let me know what they are. Alright, now let's get the ingredient list today. So first things first, you want to start with the chicken breast. Chicken thigh will do by using breast today. Some celery, carrots, garlic, ginger, some saoxing cooking wine, our favorite soy sauce, and last but not least, some honey for the balance of sweet and savory and our shirataki noodle. Don't hate on shirataki noodle, it tastes just fine, it's al dente and minus all the carbohydrates. Alright, so first we want to start with prepping our chicken. Now it might be a little controversial as to how people want to approach this. If you're absolutely mortified by the possibility of cross-contamination, by all means start with the veggie first. But this is a really quick recipe. If you start with marinating the chicken, by the time all the other ingredients are prepped, you are ready to go. So first you saw, you saw but definitely, you know, wash the cutting board, all the knife, all that good stuff. So first you saw me cut with the grain, so with the, uh, with, with the uh, muscle fiber ghost cut with it to three separate pieces, and now you want to cut against it, so perpendicular to the muscle fiber, into fine, thin slices as shown here. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, just do the best that you can. The this will help cook the chicken faster and also evenly. So you just want to cut against the grain, against the grain, until all the meats are cut and prepared. Um, There's just one more demonstration here, cut against the grain. Again, chicken thigh will work, it'll be uh, uh, just as flavorful if I'm using breast today. So here I'm sorry with the marinades, just get a heaping splash of soy sauce. I'll be generous as this is the foundation flavor for this recipe. And about like a fourth or to half amount of the sashin cooking one and that splash of honey. Give it a quick stir and here comes our first missing ingredient, yes, baking soda. So traditionally, I guess people will use cornstarch corn to marinate the chicken. Uh, here I'm just using baking soda. What it does is velvet and tenderize the chicken uh, without the extra carbohydrate. 
Uh, so that's what I'm using here. So sew that in really well and uh, you want to cover that with film wrap. Um, ideal, if you have more time, if you want, you can leave this refrigerate, uh, marinade refrigerator overnight. Uh, but if you're running short on time like I do, just leave it in room temperature, prep all your uh, other ingredients and by the time that's done, you are ready to go. So here, uh, this is a shirataki noodle, you know the drill, release it from the package uh, and then drain out all the liquid with a mesh strainer. So, and then rinse it with water. Here I'm just demonstrating with a glass jar, but ideally you do want to rinse it under a uh, fast running faucet to remove all the packaging liquid. Leave it on the strainer to drain out the excess fluids and uh, as shown here, and we are ready for the next step. So yes, I washed all my cutting board and my knife and here I'm just prepping my aromatics. So garlic, I did not use the whole bulk of garlic like I showed earlier, just three fat uh, cloves, it's fine. So you want to thinly slice them and also the ginger, I'm using uh, only half a knob of what's shown in the ingredient list. And you want to give it a quick chop to as fine pieces as shown here. And uh, we're to prep our veggies, so here I'm just using celery really quick and simple carrots and celery of course with chow mein uh, you won't you can use any vegetable you have on hand the first time i tried this recipe i have zucchini that was given to me by my co-worker and it turned out delicious oh just as delicious so anything you have and of course the third one in our next missing ingredients yes scallions so you want to separate scallion green from scallion white finally chop the white part as shown here uh, for the green part, just give it a rough chop to big pieces. This will be stir fried in with the uh, carrots and celery. And of course, if you have an extra stock, finally chop all of them. This will be for garnish in the end, uh, if you like. So get a heat uh, pan, add a splash of oil. Of course, it's optional. Swirl it around. If it's nonstick, you probably won't need it. Do the chopsticks test. If a little bubble forms, you know the pan is hot enough. All right, pour, uh, dump in the chicken. Make sure they're in one single layer. You just want to let it be uh, until the bottom is brown. You don't want to saute it right away, actually. Uh, and then you want to add in your aromatic. Uh, this is the ginger and garlic pieces. For some random reason, I didn't add the scallion white at this point, but ideally, this is the stage that you want to add the scallion white. <laughs> All right, move the pieces around. Make sure they're heated and become fragrance. When the chickens are brown on one side, you're uh, good to give it a flip. And here you saw me add the scallion whites. Stir it around. So now this is the stir fry part that you do want to move it, move the chicken around and scrape off the brown bed pieces uh, in the bottom. And as you keep stirring, you'll see the color develop. Look at that beautiful golden brown color. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited. All right, so remove from heat into a clean plate. Yes, that plate has been washed. And uh, in the same pot, you just want to uh, dump in all the vegetables. So that is the carrots, celery, and the scallion green. Add a splash of cooking wine to deglaze the bottom and also a splash of soy sauce. This is our foundation flavor after all. And here comes our next ingredient, missing ingredients, oyster sauce and a little shake of salt if you like. Um, you probably won't need it, but just a little pinch that I added. Cut, keep it covered, let it sting for a little bit until the veggie soften just a bit. You don't want to mush it down, obviously, uh, move it around. You want it to still have some kind of integrity. After that is cooked, dump in your chicken. Like shown here, oh my gosh, guys, are you as excited as I am? Yes, you are, of course. <laughs> All right, stir it around. And uh, because my uh, phone storage maxed out at that point, so you didn't see the shots of me actually adding the shirataki noodle, but you get the point. So add in the noodle. One thing I will say about the shirataku noodle is that it's really long. Um, so either you want to cut it up with scissors or pull it apart with your hands. Otherwise, it'll be kind of difficult to work with, um, as you can see here. So you just want to pull it apart or you can use chopsticks, as I'm using here, uh, just to get it into smaller pieces so you can move it around, make sure that it's uh, soak up all the sauces and all the good stuff. Oh my God, look at that. I know there is a superstition about how you're not supposed to cut noodle, but don't worry about this. They cut it in manufacturing anyway. All right, shake in that optional ingredients of our white sesame seeds and the green scallion that we prepared earlier. And yeah, look at that. You are ready to go. So let me serve myself up with some chicken chow mein. Oh my God, with shiitake noodle. So here's the noodle. Get that piece of chicken, of course, and then carrots, of course, carrots, and our uh, celery. Yeah, gotta have our greens, eat our veggie, make, mama, uh, make our mama proud, of course. <laughs> so one thing I will say about celery, though, 
It's actually, I'm personally not a big fan of celery. Um, you know, that fibery veggie taste that just kind of, you know, on the raw end. Um, but this recipe, if take out that edge and make the celery sweet and succulent, you will not be, you will not believe how good it is turned out in this recipe. All right, dust in the uh, optional sesame seeds and also extra scallion for garnish and let's dig in. All right, let me get a noodle and that piece of chicken. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. In the carrots, in the carrots. Oh my gosh. Did I mention earlier I'd be literally looking forward to my lunch break today? Of course, come on. Chinese takeout, chicken chow mein, how can you go wrong with it? It is that delicious. But most important of all, it is much, much healthier for you as it's low sodium. You control exactly how much salt it goes into it. You didn't have, you didn't add much oil and it's low carb with the shiitake. All right, let me get that last piece. Leave it in the comment down below. Let me know how you like it. Until next time, cheer guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys.